Hey guys, welcome to episode 11 on the Bajo Quinto, a 10 string guitar used to play Norteño music coming out of northern Mexico where it was influenced by German and uh, Polish waltz and polka music and if you click on episode three of the playlist our good friend Manuel Ayala is going to tell you all about that but there is a whole playlist up there and there are 10 episodes before this one that it took us to get this to the point where everything is ready to put the back on so I'm going to keep the front end of this one short, believe it or not. But we have a piece of, piece of birch plywood that we've put the outline of the guitar on. You see it there. We're going to take this to a bandsaw and we're going to cut it. And then we're going to get into some of that spruce that we cut down into bracing. Um, and we're going to use this size bracing, which end up, ended up being this side in this fan bracing. And we are going to use that to go all across the back. And you'll notice that there are certain spots here, 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 and here where the original bracing was ladder bracing coming across the back. So that's what we're going to do. Also in this, you're going to learn the importance of when you go to put the back on, any flex that you have here, you'll probably be able to see it, see that. That's going to make a huge difference about how your neck lays, lies, and what your action is going to look like. So we're going to learn a lot about that, and hopefully by the end of this episode, we will have a back on this thing, and then we'll start talking about are we going to put electronics in it? What exactly are we going to do? And then we'll finally junk pile it up. And hopefully it will play good enough that we can hear someone in a band that plays this kind of music play it in the Los Angeles area. So that said, let's get to the bench and quit this yapping. Okay, guys, let's have a quick look. First thing, we're going to be using hide glue. Get it out of the refrigerator. You keep it in the refrigerator so it doesn't get moldy. But if you heat up your hide glue heater and put the cold uh, bottle in there, it's going to crack. And even if you get it out in time, you're going to mess up the dilution of your hide glue. So get the hide glue out of the refrigerator. Next, you're going to order some curfing. Some curfing strips have some around keep it enclosed and keep it bound up because it will warp it looks like this it bends around corners but when you cut it it's going to leave you this ragged edge you don't want that so have your file like so or have your handle with a piece of sandpaper on it and you just do this to get everything just right there it is measure around where you want it notice here that there are gaps this is where the bracing for the back has historically been we're going to do something a little bit different but we are going to nonetheless put some bracing on the back that is for sure see that there we go now we are going to use clothes pins like this to hold the binding on while we're gluing it now while you're fitting this stuff cut fairly close that pocket for that bracing is going to be there and if there's anything sticking out I want to make sure that you do that and get rid of that ahead of time so you don't have gaps And then you just dry fit everything because if you don't, the curfing police will come. You hear them now? Lay on the floor. Tell them I'm not here. 
last thing before we start applying hide glue you know that we cut this down we changed the configuration we flattened it out and you've got your handy dandy finger planes if there's something to be done don't wait until you start gluing get all this lined up and ready to go first a little bit more now we're going to set our piece right there we're going to take something flat and make sure it's level the back is actually going to have this much to glue to we're going to take our clothes pin make sure it's leveled up and everything is good I'm not sure you're interested in me doing all the rest of it in front of you but there we go all right we are on our last piece up here in the corner these are the ones that want to give you trouble sometimes. So it kind of helps to have a little humidity around. And like I said, to get these things bent around the corner and used to it and clamped on before you finally put the glue to it. And then, of course, we've got these pieces of wood they come in handy for us and I'll show you one here in a minute and there's that one there this is one that we want to make sure that everything lines up nice okay everything has to glue flat and then remember the wedged piece of wood look at that And perfect waiting for high glue to dry the story of my life all right let's take a look we have the kerfing on we want to remember the original back did not have uh, this configuration there were braces along the back that tied in kind of here and then here these little slots and they weren't much to write home about so we've put kerfing here there's a lot better gluing surface and then so to put the back on we just took a piece of birch like this and kind of set it on there and traced it and we want to remember there's going to be some give here going in and over here and then when we pull the neck up this way the body is going to squat let's see if we can do this a little bit like this so there's enough on this one to do that so i've cut a couple of these so this turns upside down to match that cutaway and it's got this part on it and so what i have done is cut the braces now i've got a piece of the spruce it's again the jones uh, lumber started off 16 feet long and we narrowed it down a bunch and we've drawn a straight edge as much as possible between these lines and then we're going to cut this in half and then fred tells me that this should be kind of triangular with a flat top and so what we're going to do is we're going to take this to the saw we're going to get this to where it's 15 
millimeters here and there, cut in half, narrowed down like this, and that'll be that. Now you see that when we put these braces in, they don't get in the way of the curve and we're good to go. Okay, there are our marks. There's one there, and there's one there, and nothing is straight on this thing. We put a couple pieces of tape on it, and leave it sit into each other, and make sure that everything fits here. So when we flip it over, oh yeah. Easy money. Let's let's zoom out and catch the semi beauty of this thing right here. Yeah, here we go. Okay, finally, we're gonna put a few spool clamps on this thing for a couple of days and just kind of get everything lined up and settled into itself a little bit. Not too tight until we get everything straightened up. The waist is really important to get lined up because that's where our This is going to be right there. Yeah. There we go, we'll leave it sit for a little bit now. Okay guys, I think we're getting towards the end of this episode. 
we are going to burn our fingers on this high glue that I've got heated up here. And we are going to put these braces on. And I've got some clamps put together and I'll just make a couple marks with the wet brush there. And kind of line everything up. There we go. And put some ample supply of hide glue there and give ourselves a streak there like so. There we go. Now these deep throated clamps are very cool. Of course I got the bottom braced up. This is not an arched back. This is just a... Oh, that's why Fred said to flatten out the top of the brace. Imagine that. Let that drift over there like so. And then we will put one of these to get that end. And another one over here. A couple more to do. can never have too many clamps. Let's let that dry now. All right, guys, there we go. Here it is. It is D-U-N done. Oh, I need to do something for y'all here. I keep saying this over and over and over. You know, whether it is a cigar box guitar. I just filmed a little Instagram clip. I got this cigar box guitar over here I built. People are worried that I quit building them and I quit building the junky roots instruments I used to build. Yeah, I build them, but guys, look at how many YouTube videos I've done about cigar box guitars and uh, yeah, I mean, if you want one, let me know. There's only, I think, you. Yeah, no, no, over here, right. yeah, you right there. You're the only one in America that's not building cigar box guitars now. Anyway, whether it's any instrument, if the string action is not right and it's hard to press the strings, you can't get clarity and people just don't want to play your instruments. And I see people needs a neck reset, needs a neck reset. But yet there's no gap where the where the neck and, and body joint is. But still the action's that tall. Well, either the top is collapsed and you got a bad brace, it's been stored with the strings on it in a hot closet, who knows? Or if you see the back is open a little bit from the sides or even the top, that lets everything move. So 
what I wanted to do here real quick was I've got a sharpie which we used to call magic markers I put a pencil mark there because when I flexed the neck down and got the uh, action where I wanted to be there was this much sticking out of the body at the front of the guitar and so I marked it with a pencil see that right there it's the thickness of this but that much will cause your action to be that high I guarantee you anyway the reason I didn't put this on the guitar yet is the next episode we are going to fret the guitar we're going to pull the old frets off and put new ones in there's um, 10 grooves in the frets because it's it's a bajo quinto five um, so they need to be replaced and I'm going to show you some pretty cool stuff about fret tools in that one but you want to remember whether you're using a hand press or an arbor press or a hammer when you get on a flat top guitar or even an arch top and you're doing the frets where the body and neck come together there's no way to do it mechanically you got to do it by hand and when you're smacking on that area on an old guitar it's pretty fragile so that's fragile to most of you so we're going to talk about that then the next episode we are going to put the electronics on it yeah we've got a pickup that's actually embedded in the neck like one of my coffee can guitars so it's flush it's everything so we'll see that set up in the fretting episode but we'll see how to wire one of these things and you'll be able to watch how i do it what wire goes where so it's a primer i know i've done a few primer videos that you can search my channel for on how to wire uh, three-way switches and regular pickups but anyway I want to end this by telling you that I got this hat here and it's pretty cool it's a really high quality hat um, it has air vents let me get a drink here still pretty hot in the shed anyway it's got ventilation holes great quality hat the patch on this thing is very cool and it is made out of leather uh, there's a brand um, pin on it great quality hat I actually saw a video on this where they were throwing this in a bobcat bucket full of concrete and pouring concrete all over it and then just sprayed it off with a hose and it was fine but the company that makes this is American Nomad. I'm going to give you a link below. Check that out. On Friday when this comes out, there's going to be uh, a life celebration going on. And then um, the official funeral will be this weekend for, for one of the partners who was taken from us very early. Um, and this caught my attention because I like this gear. They have all kinds of cool stuff. Hit that link below. They got the coolest t-shirts, coolest hats, but taken from us too early, left a great family, good wife, and six kids, guys, six kids, and two of the kids were adopted. I want you to think about that. So, hey, do me a favor. Don't sit here and covet my hat. You can get one of your own, or they got a ton of stuff that you're going to love their designs but anyway now's the time there's proceeds are going to be benefit this family at a time where they need your help the worst i don't ask you guys for anything but do something this time okay and send me a message and say hi um and so that said don't forget there's a playlist about this guitar up there there's virtually anything that could go wrong with a guitar and how to fix it in this playlist thanks for giving me a like and a subscribe and don't forget check out american nomad apparel american nomad apparel i will see you next week